Club's rented out, asshole. Can't you fucking read? Wait, aren't you? It's Yagami! Stop where you are! So, this is where you were gonna drag Mafuyu-chan, huh? Hmm? Who gave the order? Was it Marase? Or maybe it was Shioya? What's it matter? We want to talk to the big boys. Yeah, what he said. Shut it! But fine! If you want to fight, bring it on, asshole! Gure clan! Hmm. There are lots of chairs in here we could mess around with. There's a bar or a reception area over here. Um, just scout in the area, just scout in the area. Let's actually get, oh, I was gonna say, um, get our healing extract, but... It's not ready. Oh, sorry mate. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway. You alright guys? Are we ready? Let's go. What the... Hey! You're out of step, dumbass! You're never gonna get any laughs with moves like that! Give me some fire, chuckleheads! Now! Un, deux, trois! Un, deux, trois! What the shit is this? Whatever it is, it's killing the mood. What the hell? I like it, but what the hell? Onaki! It's Yagami! Surely there's got to be something in here we can do with the poles. Surely. Can't run at the poles. Still feeling Is that all you Just got? get my health back up right now. Still feeling Is that all you got? I do like this extract. Still feeling tough? Is that all you got? Hey, I'm over here. You got? You're not getting away. Shit. Let go, asshole. It's got my leg. There's more. Just go talk. We'll be fine. All right. You've got this. Really? You couldn't get him off your leg. All right. Chairs. Yeah. Tables. Seems normal. Bucket. Doesn't look like I have a key for this door. Yeah, and? Oh. Well, that was lucky. Um, square looks new. Why am I bad? Why am I bad? That'll do it. It's Yagami! Ha! Holy shit! Don't shoot, dumbass! Fucking coward! Let go of him! And why would I do that? Let's keep moving forward. His health's dropping. Is the guy still alive? He is. Still feeling tough? <laughs> Lovely. Anything special? Nope. Moving on up. Another gun? You know those are illegal, right? I keep forgetting I've got the extract going. Boom! Ooh. 
Didn't see that coming, did you, mate? Big red blocks in the way. Hello. Who are you? It's Yagami. Get him! Well, I'm waiting for you. Oh God! No, I, I take it back. I was trying to run at the wall. There we go. I was trying to grab him. No, I think he's trying to run at the door and trying to open it when I'm trying to run like that and do that. That's what I'm trying to do. Sorry about that. Just a bit of, bit of a fuss there. Um, anything special down here? Oh, we can actually... So what's in, in these other rooms then? Hi. Okay. Just, just run through, smash everything. This calls for a wire. I should have four left. Stupid thing. Got to play this because I haven't done it in a while. Nice. Okay. To hold on for this one for a while from the looks of it. There we go. Oh God, there's more. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. Almost there. Okay, okay. Nice. Still more? Better be something good behind here. Because it doesn't look like I'm meant to be going this way, so. We're in. Bah, the wire broke. Won't be able to use that one anymore. What's in here? What's that? That was it? That was it? No? Something over there? I guess? Fine. Fine. Chalk! Kaito-san, Sugira, you made it. Told ya. Trust us next time, man. <sighs> right. Let's get going. Hmm. What's one of these pillars across? I mean, you can still get through there, look. Like, just, just move into the little gap. It's fine, I guess. It's fine. Ooh, what's going on in here, then? What the hell? Ready, dude. Why am I not surprised, Shioya? <laughs> I know how to make an entrance, don't I? It's damn good to see you, Yagami. Crying shame these idiots were so goddamn useless, though. Guess strength in numbers ain't all it's chalked up to be. Pansies, you all trying to get your fingers chopped off tonight, huh? You tried to kidnap Mafuyu. Hmm. Girls? You should have just told me if you wanted to fight. Would have been glad to do it at my place. What is it you want? 
Well, I've got a little job I need done. You boys in? What job? I'm not in the business of being refused, so I needed to take out an insurance policy. That's why I decided to give that girlfriend of yours a little ride. <laughs> Fuck off. We would have done it for next to nothing. Almost no questions asked. We're that desperate? Damn right. But now this asshole went and hit Mafuyu-chan, so we're never gonna help him, no matter what he says. And even if Tak ends up on board, I'll still kick your ass! Have a little faith, huh? <laughs> a couple of comedians, huh? Fuck it. Looks like I'm just gonna have to bust your pathetic skulls myself. Easier that way. Yeah? <laughs> now go. Break their fucking faces. Alright, steady on me. No need for the language. Alright, what we got around? What we got around? What we got around? We got big plants. Small plants. It's a stage up here. Can we do anything with the stage? I mean, that's asking for someone's head to be smashed into it, isn't it? How about you, mate? Let's give it a go. Oh, no, no, it moved you way too quickly. Hold on, mate. Hold on, I'm trying stuff. Oh, I mean, that's a waste. Like, it's 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 almost like a bullseye, and you could have... How about... No? Hey, hold on. Try and stop. How about you? Nah, it's nah, it's not having it, is it? It's not having it. All right, let's let's have a look elsewhere. See what else we can do. How are you guys doing down here, Kaito? You seem to be in a bit of a pickle there. Um, ow! No need for that. What's this guy have a lamp? We'll grab ourselves a lamp ourselves if we can. How's your knees? How's your face? Where was the, the lamp on the floor? I get the idea, guys. Let's throw that out and throw that out. Where's those little, little lamps are on the tables? There we are. Whoa, the whole thing just destroyed! By X, X, E expectations. Yep. Let's see what they did there. You see what they did? Big, big plant. Get rooted, mate. You think I'd say get planted, but no. Done that one far too often in the past. In Like a Dragon, otherwise known as the Yakuza series. Steady on, mate. There's a wall here. Yeah, you see that coming in. Whoa! Get my health up a bit. Feeling tough? Oh, I did not. Ooh, hold on, I never thought about picking up the partitions. That all you got? Although I am in the wrong stance for everything at the moment, really, aren't I? Because there's so many people tough. around. Let's see about grabbing one of the partitions then. How about that? Never part from your partition? I, I don't know. Something there. There's some, how about the big speakers? More? Take him out, boys. Oh, come on now. Ow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe he's. Yeah, there we go. I knew it had to be there for a reason. It was just set up so perfectly. All 
right. That all you got? Oh, so close, mate. You're gonna sleep through this? I'm so sorry, mate. There's no need for that, but you know, needs must. <laughs> Still feeling t that all you got? Fine. Back off. Not Okay, I think it's just you now, isn't it? Yeah, done. You good? What the? And who's this? Hey, look who it is. Your old buddy Hattori, isn't it? Great. And who's the old man? Well, well. Never thought I'd be running into him here. Huh? So... You're the ones from the Yagami Detective Agency. Uh, that old man is the person responsible for all 10,000 employees in the Kajihira group. Shigeru Kajihira. So he's the guy. I like his bow tie. Previously. With the mole's murder of Shintani, the police begin to suspect Yagami and subpoena him. The cases of both past and present become a volatile mix at the ADDC. At one point, the land it sits on had been the target of a redevelopment scheme. And behind that plan, the Kansai-based construction company, the Kajihira Group, and its chairman, Shigeru Kajihira. So, chapter seven, Limelight. Uh, that old man is the person responsible for all 10,000 employees in the Kajihira group. Shigeru Kajihira. So he's the guy. Again, great bow tie. You're familiar with Hattori san here, yes? He's told me a great deal about you, Yagami san. Me? He even clued me in on the perfect way to get inside your head. You better not be talking about Mafia Yuchan. As I understand it, you two are practically family. The young lady is quite fond of you, you know. I take it you're the one who gave Shioya the order to kidnap her then? <laughs> I wanted to see what you were capable of. Huh? Now that I know, the Curie clan will leave you alone. I can guarantee you that. And let me guess, there's a condition? There's something I'd like you to do. A job only a detective can handle. Here we go. A year ago, I set in motion a plan to redevelop a massive plot of land owned by the Ministry of Health. Yeah, I know. Hattori-san's article told me as much. <laughs> Sharp. Our plan was to take over the entire medical institute. That's enough land there for three or four Kamurochos. So I struck a deal with Minister Kazami and bought up the surrounding properties for next to nothing. 
All that remained was closing down the ADDC and the other arms of the Institute. But I don't have enough time on this planet to wait for that to just happen naturally. So I turned to a man named Hashki. Here's a shot of the man. I've never seen this guy before. At the time, Hoshki was the vice director of the ADDC. But tempting him to join me was easy enough. But soon we were working together to sabotage the center. Sabotage? Yes, he drove out the ADDC's most promising talent and sold their cutting-edge research to rival labs. He performed his part admirably. Sounds like a real douchebag, if you ask me. So, you're saying you bought off a government official? Yes, and it was easy. But then, just as the ADDC was on its last legs, something breathed life back into it. Which was? AD-9. Mr. Kazumi did a complete 180. He took Kido's side and vowed to keep the center open. That drug ruined the whole damn operation. And where's Hachki now? Dead. What? He was beaten to death some six months ago. Somebody murdered the vice director of the ADDC? They're still not sure who was responsible. The cops wrote it off as a drunken brawl, and that was the end of it. Yagami-san, I want you to investigate Hashki's death. I have reason to believe it was premeditated. And what makes you think that? You sound pretty sure. He was suspicious of AD-9. Thought it was all a hoax. A hoax? But why? Just when we started talking about closing the center, along came this revolutionary new drug to save the day. The timing was too convenient. That's what Hoshki thought, at least. He was sure that there was more to AD-9 than met the eye. So he did some digging, and not long after, he was murdered. Are you saying Director Kido bumped him off? That's a pretty serious accusation. If that were the case, I'd still be able to shutter the center. The redevelopment project would begin anew, and all my investments would finally turn a profit. But as of right now, I'm a hundred billion in the red. That's a lot of money! I can't leave that large an investment on the table. No wonder you're so hung up. Whoever killed Hashki probably did it to spite Kajihira, most likely someone working to protect AD-9. The ADDC is hiding something, I'm sure of it. And that lawyer Shintani was close to figuring out what, at least until he got his eyes gouged out. Things are not all they seem to be at the ADDC. And if that's the case, you must want to know the truth, too, Yagami-san. That's why I came to you. There's nobody else I could ask to do this. I mean, I would like to know the truth, yeah. Hattori-san. Mafuyu almost got kidnapped thanks to you. Anything you want to say? Chairman Kajihira pretty much kidnapped me, too. Going after your girl wasn't my idea. I was just looking out for myself. Still feels like you owe us an apology. <sighs> that guy's the fucking worst. <laughs> hey, shouldn't we roll out of here? Our friend's just about waking up. Good point. Let's go. He is going to be quite angry, yeah. He's going to have a splitting headache, I feel. Yeah, the name's Hushki. Used to be vice director of the ADDC. Mm-hmm. Murdered in Kamurocho six months ago. Sorry to spring this on you, Hoshino. Think you could get all that for me by tomorrow? Okay, thanks. Well, looks like that's it for today. See you at Gendas tomorrow? <laughs> Sounds good. Night, boys. See you, Kaio. Yagami-san. What's up, Sugira? I was just thinking, 
Teaming up with you was the right call. Should make some progress on my investigation, now that Kajihira himself is out in the open. I wouldn't have saved Mafuyu without you, either. Thanks again. No prob. Let me know if anything else comes up. New info has been added to the case file. Full night's sleep sounds pretty good right about now. Oh, it would, wouldn't it? It really would. Oh. A good solid 11 hours sleep. Sounds delightful. Sounds delightful. At the moment, I'm getting about seven. No, no real reason other than just that's what my body needs to get enough sleep. But it would be nice to just, you know, just, just have one of those really long sleeps that really re-energize you and stuff like that. Like, like they, they help every so often. They help every so often. It would be lovely. So we just are returning back to. The office, the agency. You right, mate? I need to see about getting some more of the new friendships done that have popped up around the place. Like, there's one outside Yagami's office. There's one in the pawn shop as well nearby. So it's like, it would, be, it would be nice to get those sorted. It would be nice to get those sorted. Look there. It's like, I am wondering, like, what's happening with you. But I'll probably find out in between the parts at some point. At some point, anyway. Right. Let's have a look inside, then. Meow. Um, there we go. Perfect. Ah, some rest. Yes. I mean, I expected something to happen during the night. I g gotta get over to Gendas. Okay. Let's head over to Gendas. Da 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 da. Always on the floor. Always on the floor. Back in Matai. Um, yep, there we go. So far, the plan with uh, me and Sarah in terms of whether or not I sing back in Matai on any potential wedding we have in future. Like, those plans are evolving and changing. They're getting more funny, but I don't want to spoil too much, because we do potentially plan to record at least that bit. Because people would want to see it. It'd be funny. There you are, Tuck. Kaito-san. You're here early. Early bird nabs the murderer, yeah? Hoshino-kun dug up some dirt on Hashki. All we could see really was his hair, like, it's just... Bad camera angle, bad camera angle. So what's the latest then? I heard the Kyore clan attacked Mafiu last night. You already talked to her? Yeah. She seemed... Happy. Probably because you came to the rescue. Probably. Yagami-san! Is Genda-sensei still out of commission? No, he'll be here this afternoon. He didn't sound very energetic when we spoke, though. Gotcha. Anyway, back to what you asked me last night. I looked into Hashki's murder. Hold up. I want to hear this, too. Toru Hashiki. Former vice director of the ADDC. 51 years old at the time of his death six months ago. Found lying face down in a Camarocho back alley in the middle of the night. He was unconscious, horribly beaten. He died in the hospital three weeks later. It took that long? Yes. Apparently he was comatose the entire time. Doesn't sound quite as premeditated as Kachihiro was making it seem. Were there any witnesses? Not to the crime itself, no. However... Quite a few people saw Hashki in a drunken argument beforehand. With a man in a black raincoat. And that's all we know about the culprit. A black raincoat? As far as I can tell, the police never found him, but who knows how hard they looked, right? And, well, that's all I could find. Little more than a general overview. Thanks, Hoshino-kun. This is great for now. Kajihira claimed Hashki's murder was premeditated, yes? Huh? Yeah, that's right. 
But there's no evidence to support it whatsoever. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If the culprit intended to kill Hashki, wouldn't he have finished the job? Seems kind of sloppy. On the other hand, if it was just an unfortunate run-in, the circumstances would make more sense. I don't know. I think it's the other way around. Huh? If you ask me, whoever killed Hoshki was a freaking pro. What makes you say that? Yes, do tell. Just look at the end result. Hoshki died and whoever's responsible got away with it. Now imagine if the cops found him dead in that alley. That alone would be cause for investigation. If he's just unconscious, though, it's easier to just call it a street brawl and move on. I mean, that's just another day in Kamurocho, right? True enough. I suppose the incident never made the news because his death didn't come until so much later. Despite how well known he was in the scientific community, that is. So the killer beat Hoshki until he sustained a fatal wound, then backed off? Is such a thing even possible? It is if you're a pro. <laughs> Guys that good totally exist. It's just rare to see it happen. Know what I mean? Not sure I do, actually. I admit it would make sense, but we can't say for sure without evidence. More or less. What kind of evidence do you mean? Something like an investigation report. I want to know the cause of death. Which I guess means another visit to our old friend Ayabe, huh? I'm way ahead of you. Called him myself last night, but, uh... But what? His hands are tied because of all this Kuroiwa business. Should have known. We got someone else coming in his place, though. Meeting at the same place as before. Lamont. You're gonna come, right? Sure, let's do it. New info has been added to the case file. Hetre Lamont. Look. Would help if you got out of the way, yeah, mate. Dear, oh dear. So, we've got Kaito in tow. I'm just wondering if we can take him anywhere. Looks like we got some company. Mm-hmm. Hold up. These guys are Matsugane. Weird. I don't think they're too happy with us. Oh, yeah? Well, what gave it away? Maybe they think we're working with the Kyore clan. Either way, doesn't look like they want to talk it over. No. Of course not. What the? You right there, Kasha? <laughs> Good old cone of justice. I wonder if there's anything we can do around here, like in here. Because normally we could do stuff with the microwave over in Like a Dragon of Wires known as the Yakuza series. So I'm just wondering. Ooh! Best chip! Hmm. Interesting to see they've got some best chip. Oh, wait, yes, we're in the middle of a fight right now. No, no time for shopping! No, no, no. Alright, what's going on over here then? Tiger drop. What a waste. Indeed. Come on, Doc. Let's get out of here. <sighs> right. Let's hit it. Here's that case of like, well, what is that we could do? It's like, we, we haven't got karaoke, so it's sort of a case of, nah, nah, there's not much I feel like we could do with Kaito. But, we will actually use this as a place to end this part. And in the next part, we'll be heading over to Lamont. So we shall see them. Ta-da for now.